Hello friends, Pastor Chap here at Heritage Church. I'd like to invite you to join myself, our church staff, and our church body as we enter into a time of prayer and fasting. I shared this past Sunday that I really believe that God has called us to join those across our nation and around the earth who really have gone into a time of seeking the Lord. I believe we need to seek His face right now. We need to hear from the Lord. So beginning this week on Friday, August 28th, and for the next 10 Fridays, I'm beginning uh, what we're calling Fasting Fridays. And for the next 10 Fridays, we're going to be fasting food from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., and then coming together here at the church and praying for one hour from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. We need to hear from God in the day in which we're living. And I believe that we can hear from God. And I believe that our prayers and our fasting does make a difference. And there are three specific things that we're going to be praying for. Number one, we're going to be praying that we will hear the voice of the Lord, that we will receive a message from God. Uh, there are so many people around us, people that we encounter every day that, that are looking answers. So many people have really been shaken by this whole virus situation. And people are asking questions like, you know, what, what is this, what's our world going to look like in a year? What, you know, what is the church supposed to be doing right now? And even pastors, we're asking a lot of questions. How do we minister to our people when, you know, we're, when we're limited in capacity for church services? And, and still many, many churches are yet to uh, begin on-site services. So again, we need to hear from God. You know, God told the prophet Ezekiel, he said, I've called you to be a watchman on the wall for Israel. And he said, come and get a word from my mouth that you might deliver it to them as a warning. And I really feel like that's what we, we've been called to do. We've been called to be watchmen. We've been called to deliver a message. But you know what? You can't be a watchman if you've not gotten a word from God. And so I'm, I'm just thanking God. I believe that he's going to speak to us through this time of fasting. So we want to hear from God and have a message to deliver. Secondly, we want to pray that, that the will of God will be accomplished in this upcoming election. I cannot imagine a more important election in the history of our nation. And we want to agree that God's will will, will be done and that the right persons will occupy the White House for the next four years. Thirdly, I really want us to pray and felt led that we are to pray that the truth and the light of the gospel would overcome the lies of darkness and the lies of the enemy. Because, you know what, here's, and we talked about this this past week, deception is rampant. Everywhere we look, people are deceived. Even in the church, it seems that some people are very deceived. And I really believe that, that, that God, if we will pray and seek his face and fast, sacrifice, that truth is going to prevail. And we, need, we are coming together to agree for our family members, for our children, for our neighbors, in some cases even our spouses, that the scales of darkness would fall from their eyes, that every lie that they believed would be exposed. Do you understand that the only way that the enemy can influence you is to get you to believe a lie? And so many people have believed a lie of the devil, and it has shown up in their lives, and they're living that right now. But we want to pray that God, the truth of God and the truth of the gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ would prevail in people's hearts and lives around us. And I believe, and I know, and I know you do as well, if you believe the Bible, that God responds to the prayers and the fasting of his people. So again, love to have you join us beginning this Friday and for the next 10 Fridays, we're gonna be praying, fasting no food, for uh, no, no food at all from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and then coming together to, to pray from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. I want some of you to see what God does in response to prayer and fasting. I believe he's going to blow our minds. So thank you for listening today. And again, invite us if you would like more information, contact, contact us here at Heritage Church. We look forward to this time, believing God's gonna show up powerfully. Thank you all again. God bless you. Have a great day.